Cat Heads Brewery. Holly Jolly Christmas Ale. This episode is brought to you by Drunken Elves. Happy birthday, Jesus. Hello, Merry Christmas and Happy Honda Days from Honey and the Bear. T -t -t Thanksgiving's over. Yeah! So now we're gonna do festive things. Boo. Yes, because that means IPAs, but with Santa hats. So. That have spices in them. Mm hmm. And y'all can know from Oktoberfest and pumpkin pie beers, we love beer with spices that taste like crap. Mm hmm. Yay. Yes, so I'm oh so thrilled for this month's festivities. If you have any suggestions for some things we should try this month, please leave a comment below, and we'll definitely try to get them and try to the, try them out on the show. Can. Fat man can. Fat head can. Holly Jolly Christmas Hill. <sighs> fat guy with a Santa hat, some sunglasses on. His mustache does not match his Santa beard. Mm. Our work's cool, though. It's cute. Whatever. I mean, it's fat head style all day long. I do love how they tell you everything about their beer on here, though. It is a 7.5 ABV. It is a 28 IBU. Um, Fat Edge is pretty spot on with 9.99 a six pack. Y'all knew I was going to say it. Unfiltered. They say it right there. Thank you, guys. Pour it slowly, too. It's got that whole, like, pour slowly thing. Do that, like, I don't know. It didn't say that. It didn't say that. It doesn't say that. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, Fat Ed's Brewery, chill out, have a beer, man. Matt, Chris, and Glenn. I don't know those guys. I'd like to meet them, though. Spice up your holidays. Oh, that's all it says. Yeah, yeah so. the, the one spot says just spice. I looked at that too. I was like, that's weird. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, yeah, government warns you don't get drunk on Christmas and fight with your family. And drive about it. Mm-hmm. It's fine if you do all that. You can walk home. Just don't though. drive about it. Mm, get an Uber. Taxi. Call Santa. He usually fits you in. You're going to have to do, uh, take some stops with him, though. It's going to take a while. You ready? No. In here. No, we can't be go too horribly predispositioned just because it's an IPA. Eepa. Christmas Smells. butt. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. I'll go with that. <laughs> Oops, slowly. Cool. Very dark. This is pretty dark. Oh, how slow are we supposed to go? How do we go? Two hours later. It's slow. I feel like I'm taking forever. You are. I'm sorry. Is that slowly? Why am I whispering? Shh. Don't move too fast. <laughs> okay. It's like a pop. Why don't you focus? There we go. It's got a really nice head on it. It's actually, that's, for as slow as a pour as that was, for that head, my goodness, that's, it's impressive. Do you, uh, there's no floaters though. So yeah, I'm like surprised that. they said fil unfiltered, but it's got Very a clear. decent clarity to it, honestly. I mean, their idea versus other companies' idea of unfiltered is vastly different. A um, lot of bubbles going on. I see tons of bubbles coming up through this bad boy, so... Oh, yeah. I, I don't even know I consider this unfiltered. Unless, like, the bottom of my can just is... Ugh. Coated? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Right. But you did the can. You rolled yours and it's still about the same. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. That's horrible. And that's actually nice not too bad. It's got a nice spice smell to it. The uh, the IPAs, the hops in this thing are kicking out, though. Pretty oh, yeah. Strong. It's a very strong smelling beer, but it does have, like, a really nice spice smell to it. So it's going to be interesting. Um... I'm pretty excited about this one. The born on date, by the way, is 10 18 22. So, and it's what the day after Thanksgiving 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is my first Christmas sale, by the way, ever. <coughs> I've never had a Christmas sale before, so. I don't have anything to uh, pit it up against. It's been a while since I've had one. 
it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. It's got a nice spice blend to it. Uh, it's smooth. Mm. It's not overly hoppy. It's not overly bitter. It's honestly, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's, I mean, I still don't like IPAs, but it's not that bad. Really, the only other Christmas ale I've had is um, because I, I do enjoy Fat Heads. It's uh, one of, honestly, my favorite places to go because it's Ohio native. I got their one in Middleburg and North Olmstead, and they have some amazing food there. So if you ever find yourself near one of them, go get a fresh beer and some good food. But uh, the other one I've had before is Great Lakes, and I've always not been a fan of that one. Uh, this is actually pretty decent. Like it does, it has like flavor, it's smooth, it's, 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 it's bitter, it's strong, but it smells good, it's pretty smooth, it's got a nice head that's still hanging out pretty well. I like the artwork, I'm just, actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed for it. It didn't say anything it wasn't, I can't judge it just because I don't like it badly, so I think, be honest, I'll probably give this one a, I wish I had others to judge it against, but I think I'm going to go an 8.5. I think it's, I feel like this is a pretty decent brew for what it says it is and what it's supposed to be and all that jazz. I'm, I'm actually almost slightly disappointed, though, to be honest, with the unfilteredness of it, because it's so filtered. I was expecting more unfiltered. I was actually looking for a cloudy beer and maybe a floater or two, and I'm like, wow, that's really clear. I'm confused. Honestly, that's why I think I'm going to go 8-7. I was going to give it a 9, because um, it's just really, really good for... Because I think I've had maybe one other Christmas ale. I can't remember it off the top of my head, though. Like, I've had a couple here and there. This is actually... I would, I would drink that again if I was offered it, like... If I was out at a holiday party and they had that as an option, I'd like I'd pick this or I'd give that as a gift. Um, so I actually went higher because of the. I like the honesty, but I kind of went there with you. I'm like. No, they were honest. It just it. It's maybe they just got good make like good processing. I don't know. I said. I, mean, I still feel tricked. Do. No, you do. Okay. I like the honesty, but why lie? I feel tricked. <laughs> Okay, I'll let her. I'll go with it. Whatever. You didn't have to tell me it was unfiltered. It looks fine. I would. I wouldn't have not believed you. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, yeah, maybe it's like I don't. It's gotta be something. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna do an eight five. Honey did an eight seven. Uh, I would. I would Wild. take this to a party. I would not rebuy it for myself personally, but I do. I would gift it. I would. You know, seasonal party type of deal. Uh, it's pretty good. Good price point. High ABV. All right, then. I forgot what I was supposed to say there. Sorry, I blanked out for a minute. We're at the end. You gotta do the, the video. You gotta do the videos and stuff. There's videos and stuff. You should go check them out. We have other videos and things. You should go check out. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. Check and then out we have other, other channels. Mm -hmm. down here. Well, like, subscribe. Another channel, but yeah. Comment. Buttons, bells, click them, like them, love them. Goodbye. Happy Krampus. What? I don't know.